Let's take a look at how we can create this simple but effective visual text effect right in Keynote. To begin, let's add a text box. And for this example, I'm going to type in the word ocean. Of course, you can use any words you like. And we're going to format this text just to make it look a little nicer. I'm going to use the Proxima Nova font and I'm going to give it an extra bold weight so it's nice and heavy. This effect works best with really bold fonts. And now we're going to make it much larger, almost enough to fill the slide. So I'm going to 560 points here and we're going to center it and throw it right in the middle of our slide and right about there. Um, now, I want to do a few more things with this text. I'm going to move my characters a little bit closer, just so I have a little room on the sides. And I'm going to add an outline. The outline adds this line to the outside of the letters. I made it green just so you could see it. Um, but now I'm going to actually change it to white. And we're going to do that because our next step is to take this text box and copy and paste it so we have an exact replica of it. Now, for the replica, I want to keep everything the same except I want to change my font color, the fill color, to transparent. So I'm clicking on text color and in my little window here, I'm going to drop my opacity all the way down to zero. So essentially what I have is a white version of the text and then a transparent version of the text. Both of them have the outline though. And then we're just going to make sure that my transparent one is on top and it's all the way in the front. And then we're going to line them up perfectly so it kind of disappears. Then what I'm going to do is just highlight both of them and I'm going to lock them. And that just makes it a little bit easier in this next step to not mess things up accidentally. So next I'm going to come up to my shapes menu and I'm going to grab a shark. And I'm going to make my shark much bigger. And then we're going to change the color to whatever your background color is. So in this case, I have a black background, but this would work with any color. You just want whatever your shapes are to be the same as the background. Uh, now, my next step is I'm going to move it all the way over here to the left hand side off the slide, kind of centered. Maybe I'll make it a little bit smaller. There we go. And I want to send it backward. Now, not all the way to the back, but just back one layer. And if I send it back one layer, you'll notice it's now sandwiched between the first white text and the top transparent text. And that's exactly what we're going for. Now, my final step for this animation is to grab the Animate tab and we're going to make this shark move across the slide. Now, I can do this in a couple of ways. I could duplicate the slide and use a magic move, or I can use an action. I'm going to use an action here and choose move. And so now we're going to just decide where we want our shark to go. I'm going to send it all the way across the slide to the other side. And then just to make it feel a little more natural, I'm going to curve my path a little bit. So I'm going to have it come down a little bit and then maybe up just a little bit. And then I'm going to select a line to path and we're going to slow it down make it about a four and a half second animation. And I'm going to turn the acceleration just to none. All right. And so let's preview this animation. Okay, it might actually be a little too slow, so I'm going to speed it up a little bit and maybe tweak my path a little bit. Let's check it again. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Now, to make it more interesting, we're going to add a couple more shapes. You certainly don't have to do this, but uh, I'm going to throw in a few little fish as well. So here's one right here, and I'm going to keep it small. And uh, we're going to change it to black, just like the shark. So I'm going to change my color fill to black. And I'm going to put it back over here. And I'm also, while I'm at it, going to copy and paste it and do a, a third one. Now, each of those just needs their own action. So I'm going to give them each a move. OK, we're going to have our little fish come across here. OK, we will make it the same duration, four seconds. And we will also give it a little bit of a curve 
and align to path, and then the same for our other fish. Okay, so we'll have that one come right about here. Make that four seconds, align to path, and we'll give it a little curve as well. Now, the only other thing I want to do is come into my build order, and I want my two fish to move with my shark, but each with a little bit of delay. So I'm giving it a 0.10 or 0.20 second delay. Let's stick with 0.10, um, and let's see the effect we get. So I'm going to click play now, and oh, that looks pretty good. Now, one problem I noticed is that my fish are all the way in the front. You can see they're not sandwiched properly. So I'm going to take both of my fish and in my arrange menu, send them backward. And that should do the trick. Let's try it one more time. Perfect. All right. Now, the only other thing I'm seeing that I might want to adjust is this path, this bottom fish kind of gets lost because he's behind the shark. So I'm just going to move him down a little bit for his animation. And we'll try it one more time. Uh, there we go. Now we can really see them all. And there you have it. So this effect can be accomplished on an iPad as well. It's essentially the same process. Um, so definitely something that comes out pretty neat and is effective and can be used for a variety of things. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.